On Tuesday a federal grand jury indicted Jose Inés Garcia's raid on immigration and weapons charges, giving prosecutors a new crack at the five-time deported illegal immigrant who was acquitted last month of murder and a death two years ago of San Francisco resident Kate Steinle. The jury specifically indicted Garcia's raid for being a felon in possession of a firearm and ammunition, and for being an illegally present alien in possession of a firearm and ammunition according to a statement by the Department of Justice. If convicted, Garcia Zare, also known by the alias Juan Francisco Lopez Sanchez, would face up to 10 years in federal prison, in addition to whatever state prison sentence he receives when he appears in court December 12 to be sentenced for a weapons conviction he obtained in the Steinle case. Instead of being convicted of murdering Steinel, Garcia's rate wound up receiving a conviction on November 30 for being a felon in unlawful possession of a firearm, a relatively minor charge that could entail him serving a maximum of three years in prison, according to the New York Times. Following Garcia's raid's acquittal on the murder charge, a number of prominent Trump administration officials lashed out, with President Donald Trump himself deriding the verdict as disgraceful. Trending, Trump begins demolition of Michelle's proudest achievement, Attorney General Jeff Sessions likewise released a statement slamming jurisdictions that choose to return criminal aliens to the streets rather than turning them over to federal immigration authorities. However, Dodge spokeswoman Sara Iska Flores made it clear the department intended to review the case to see what it could do. We're looking at every option and we will prosecute this to the fullest extent of the law because these cases are tragic and entirely preventable, she said at the time. But since the principle of double jeopardy prevents the government from trying Garcia's raid on the same charges as before, the Dodge has instead brought immigration and weapons charges against him. Related. Scott Walker lost every welfare leech's vote with new requirements, Garcia's potential sentence is unclear, assuming he's convicted. Each of the new charges carries a maximum 10-year prison term, according to the Justice Department statement, but that isn't guaranteed. If convicted of either violation, Garcia's R8 faces a maximum statutory penalty of 10 years in prison, the statement reads. However, any sentence will be imposed by the court only after consideration of the U.S. sentencing guidelines and the federal statute governing the imposition of a sentence. Most of us would admittedly rather he rot in prison for the remainder of his life over his murder of Steinle, who was only 32 when he killed her in 2015. Sadly, this simply isn't a possibility now, meaning we must accept whatever we can get at this point. H. T. The Blaze Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about the Dodge's decision to indict Kate Steinle's murderer on immigration and weapons charges. What do you think about the Department of Justice decision to get involved in this case? Scroll down to comment below.